You, you mentioned a little bit about audience. Courtney, how important is it to know the social media habits of your audience? Sure. Well, that's probably the most important thing. And, and just, just like Julie said, you don't want to have all of this great content and these great messages on the wrong platform. So say you're in pharmaceutical sales. Maybe Pinterest is not the right place for you. Maybe that's not where your audience is looking for that particular information. Maybe Twitter is where they're looking for that particular information. So you definitely want to do the research. And it's really my recommendation if, if you say to yourself, you know, I'm a small business. We've only been in business for five years. You know, I, I can't hire a person. I can't hire a firm. So what should I do? I would say to take small steps. Maybe you can hire a consultant to just point you in the right direction because it would be well worth everyone's time for someone just to come in and do the research and say, hey, maybe you should just be on Twitter and Instagram and then you're not worried about, oh, what should I do? Have I made the right decision? So I, I really recommend taking the steps where you can to get the professional advice where you need it. And then eventually, you know, we all strive to be in a place where we can have um, a team of professionals either internally or, or, or externally. And um, I agree with, with Kate that hiring one person, um, intern, even I wouldn't even recommend hiring one social media manager because this isn't something that one person can do alone and it's a lot of pressure to come into a new company that you don't know and expect to you know show all of these results right away for a business that they're not really familiar with so it definitely has to start internally with the knowledge base of the business and the industry